Arsenal could easily have been 3 0 up in the first half against West Ham. Arsenal should have killed her. Killed her. And that's the funny thing about results oriented analysis. That's yeah, if you didn't watch yeah, this game, if you didn't watch even the yeah. Arsenal West Ham, yeah, yeah, yeah. where people praised uh, 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 David Moyes' defensive shoe. Arsenal created a lot of opportunities. They opened up West Ham time and time again. And we are seeing it in this past, what, like three or four, five games that Arsenal have played. It's been a recurring theme where they are getting enough opportunities to kill the game off, yet they are not killing it. And the opposition gets one or two and they kill it off. And it's coinciding with the, with the period in time where their defense is letting them down. At the start of the season, they were so good defensively, they didn't need more than one goal to win. If this was beginning of season form, these games would probably would have been ending goalless or as a draw. But some way, somehow, Arsenal are being carved open. They are conceding big, big chances yeah. and they are conceding goals and they are failing to score. This is a general transfer window. It has never been more apparent their need for a... a, a Let me give you a stat that will blow your mind. There's, there's no single Arsenal outfit player mm -hmm. that has more than five goals. And we are halfway into the season. And that, is, that is mad. Not single, not a single Arsenal player. Yeah. That's more than five. That is just crazy. Yeah, I, th I think the other problem for Arsenal is the drop off, and, and and that is one one thing that every manager hopes that it doesn't happen. That when some of your star players just drop off in Somebody terms of what they Somebody said since Saka got there. Because yeah, Bukayo Saka is not scoring with the regularity we saw from him last season. Martinelli's goals are not coming in. Martin Odegaard's numbers are not coming through. Yeah. So Gabriel just wasn't a good goal. He's never been a good, good a great goal scorer, as, as we said. Edin Ketia will give you some goals, but he's not your trusted source of goals. But Arsenal were great last season because Bukayo Saka got them a lot of goals and Martinelli was cheap. And Odegaard was scoring double figures last season. This season, those goals from those players as well are drying up. Mm -hmm. And so it's become so clear that they need a goal scorer. And, and that, for me, maybe is only because the others have not pulled their weight as they did last season. And so maybe Bukayo Saka is not the, the goal scorer we thought he would be or he was because he's not done it consistently. Martin he's not the a same. Salah. He's not going to give you those numbers every season. P perfect example. There yeah. it is. So maybe it's not necessarily... And, and, and for Liverpool, everything that they've won... It's because Liverpool, Salah delivers Liverpool every delivers, season. Salah and Sadoman were brilliant, consistently delivering the goods. Firmino was the false nine, but wasn't... So maybe Arsenal do not necessarily need... Jesus to be scoring, but they, but they need, need someone all else. All the others yeah. who last season were great to, to get back to that form. But because you can't trust that Martinelli and Saka can deliver those goods, then maybe you're banging your hope in a striker who surely will give you the numbers that Bukayo Saka and Martinelli can give you constantly. And another thing that Teta has done is, I wonder if it's now beginning to have an effect on the club. Because it's made very small but significant changes to this Arsenal yeah. team. yeah. The David Ryan Aaron Ramsdale issue is a little detail, but it's significant. Because the relationship that Ramsdale had built with that back four, mm -hmm. that looked great last season, all of a sudden it's not there. And nobody can convince me that when Saliba and Gabriel look behind them when Raya is in post, they are confident because when the balls have been crossed into the box, Raya hasn't come out commanding. So they themselves are looking behind them and thinking Raya is not the best cover they have. And that has also put in pressure on Ramsdale when he has his opportunity has. to play. Because now he has to overthink it, overwork to show that he's better than, 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 than Raya. That, I think, is the Kai Havertz thing, right? I don't it, think that was a good investment. For 65 it, million, so for far, an attacker, they could have got a much better player. Especially when the club has backed you to, to take the team to another level. And he hasn't looked like the team is going to another level. And I, I, I know, he hasn't. Man, and I agree with what Danny says, that if Arsenal had taken those chances, the scenario is different. But the also, the other reason why Arsenal may be now considering too many goals is because of the dynamics they've got in midfield now. When Thomas Partey and Granit Xhaka and Odegaard played, the dynamics were different because yeah. the, the job Xhaka was doing is very different from what Havertz is doing. Mm -hmm. So Arsenal's midfield, Declan Rice is a proper DM, is great. But Arsenal's midfield for me or to me looks a bit more open than it was they, last they season. They also miss party, we they, have to say. They miss party. It's clear. It's, Gravely. It's, it's, it's common sense that they miss party. And nobody can deny that. And Odegaard's form is also tailed off a little bit. I think it's picking it up, but it's not been great. So, Arteta has made very little changes. 
but it's had significant effect on the team. But it's January, maybe he can fix it. Interesting. They have a break now. I think Arsenal's next game would be January 20, I believe. So Ateta says um, that they, they needed that winter break. On, on, the other, on the other hand, though, yeah. what a win that is for Liverpool because they didn't play well. Yep, they didn't play well. And like I said, they should have lost that game if Arsenal yeah. were scoring uh, goals. But they are top of the league. And you see, even more significantly, Arsenal are second. Liverpool lead them by five points. And they've beaten them in the cup. So that is straight away a certain level of dominance yes. over, over their competitors. That's not like down in four yeah, or something. Dropped. They are not, they are not yeah. where second. Man City are second. Of yeah, course, yeah, you Arsenal should be are, second. Are, 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 yeah. I'm not like yeah. four. Yeah, yeah. Man City are so, second. Congrats to Liverpool. Uh, we can't look at Arsenal's <laughs> fault, but look at Liverpool's praise. Speaking.